good morning people it is about 4 30 in the morning and i feel like i've literally had zero sleep for the first time in my life i'm on time it must be because bianca's not getting on flight off to rome Today is the day before weigh-in, so I can't eat or drink anything. Sounds bad, but we used to it, do you know what I mean? We prepared the best we can. Yeah, so I'm going to train this afternoon when Bianca and the rest of the team get here. But for now, to pass the time, I'm just going to go to the competition venue and just have a little look at the Nana Gunda. So we're in Rome, we're trying to find the Olympic Park. Grandad's sat now's not working. So it's supposed to take us 20 minutes, let's see how long it actually takes us. Getting a lot of cheeky feel of the map. Such a nice venue. So we managed to see the stadium, we got here in the end after a big hike. Absolutely amazing stadium. Looking forward to fighting in it. You looking forward to watching, Grandad? Oh yes. Gonna cheer loud. They always cheer loud, don't we've got the flag? Even though there's only two of them, I'm sure I'll hear them. So just waiting for a taxi now. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, chill, and then do the last training session, sweat out for the way in. Don't worry, she's got clothes on. <laughs> the thing that has fires is after <laughs> the yeah. My boo is back! Ah, I've missed her so much. She's always running late. I'm always waiting for her.
walking through Rome with my umbrella, living my best life. So I'm absolutely buzzing to come away with gold in the Grand Prix, to win the Europeans and then a couple of weeks after to win the first Grand Prix is just an amazing feeling. Um, my nan and granddad are there watching me, so they come out to Rome. Just leaving the Vatican now. Then vlogging ruining the vlog. Obviously they're the ones who got me into the sport and, and took me training all them years so to be out in Rome with them, the, the sights, the scenery, the competition venue, it was literally insane, like I've never seen anything like it. I absolutely loved it. From the moment I got there it was literally one of the best venues I've ever seen so to come away with a gold medal on top of all that was just the icing on the cake. I think like a lot of people see the gold medal but then don't realise how hard it is to actually get it. Like all the training that you have to put your body through, um, the, mo the motivation like when you've already worn or just constantly training for years and years to still have that motivation, the injuries, the little niggles, um, just the, the competitors, like there's so many good fighters out there to, to try and win and come on top of all that. So when you do win and it all fits and comes right on that one day is literally the best feeling in the world like standing on top of that podium there's literally no other better feeling i think obviously that's why i do it because i just love to win and there's still a lot of mistakes still i don't feel like i'm i'm to my fully best yet obviously the the goal is tokyo and my main my main goal is to become three times olympic champion you know no one's done that in taekwondo yet so that would be the ultimate dream and I know how hard it's going to be so I've just got to keep pushing and training and, and keep improving and so my next aim is the Grand Prix number three in Chinese Taipei so I'm gonna give Moscow Grand Prix a miss um, just it's been my only time to have a break so um, just that I've had a break I've switched off now I'm back training for the Grand Prix in Chinese Taipei and yeah, just trying to improve really, constantly pushing the boundaries and pushing to, to get better. And then after that, there'll be the Manchester Grand Prix, which obviously I'm looking forward to that. Um, that'll be a good one. So today is our second day of being a tourist. Quite enjoying this tourist life, to be honest, it's fun. Um, we're going to go try and find the Trevi Fountain and what else? Oh, the Pantheon as well, just in St. Peter's Square now. Yeah, so absolutely been in loving. Um, just everything in Rome, it's amazing. Everywhere you turn there's something like nice to see and something amazing to see, so like, proper looking forward to this Chevy Fountain. Hopefully 
make a wish and I'm sure all of you will know what I'll be wishing for. Something in two years time, a little hint. So yeah, looking forward to it. So thanks for the support everyone, I really do appreciate it. I'm back on the vlogs now, back on the journey, trying to get that third gold medal in Tokyo. So please follow along, like, follow, what is it coming? I always get that wrong. Like, comment, subscribe, and just keep following, keep watching, ask any questions and, and send in any ideas of what you want of the vlogs. Thank you.